Hey everybody, it's Z and welcome back to another video, and today, let me tell you about shaders. Oh boy, it just started raining. This is, this is certainly going to help my frame rate. Alright, so I recently traded my frame rate in for a better looking Minecraft. So today I'm just going to talk about how I got shaders. So, um, I guess you can kind of see right off the bat what shaders is meant to do. It's meant to be, uh, pretty realistic. Make Minecraft a lot more realistic. As you can see, the water looks absolutely beautiful. Um, kind of going back and forth with little waves. Um, if you, if you want to lose a lot of your FPS but have Minecraft look really cool, this is the way to do it, especially while recording. So, um, I was originally going to show off the beautiful sunrise, but, uh, thanks, Rain. You're so amazing. Yeah. All right. So for those of you that don't know, shaders is a way of making Minecraft look a lot fancier. It adds in realistic light, shadows, water, clouds, etc. And even makes weather look a lot cooler. So as you can see, here's my house. Um, normally this would be like 100% light. Um, there wouldn't really be any shadows. But now you kind of got the shadows in between. Kind of cool stuff. And if I head down into my mind, um, you can see how dark it'll get. Especially once I, um, especially once I remove some of the torches. So for starters, um, you may have noticed, or not already, but when I hold the torch, it illuminates the light around me now, which is something I think is really cool and should be an actual function of Minecraft. And this even persists if I throw the torch. As you can see, there's like a little light area over there, and if I pick it up, that'll go away. So yeah, um, shaders is really cool there with the dynamic lighting. And uh, yeah, that's, um, that's one of the features of shaders that I think is really, really cool. And uh, I think should actually be a feature in the rest of Minecraft, but um, unfortunately isn't. But uh, Shaders has got you covered there. Um, so if I head up here, um, as you can see, still raining, unfortunately. But if I head into the rain with my torch, it'll be slightly illuminated, which is a really neat feature. I also like how there's kind of fog and there's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, you can see it sometimes. It's like kind of a blur, I guess you could say. Like uh, how, what would happen if you got a droplet on a camera? Um, there we go. There's one, like, right there to the left. I'll put, like, an arrow or something pointing to it. But, um, yeah, that's a kind of cool feature they have in it. And, yeah, I'm going to head over to a Creative World now just to kind of show you all, um, what this looks like kind of in the sun, uh, in the sun time. So, uh, you can see how nice that looks then. All right, so as you can see, I've loaded up a brand new Creative World. And looking right ahead, you can see the beautiful sunrise. And flying up, as you can see, the map looks very nice. And you notice how the sun's over here, and the shadows are appropriate. So you aren't going to see as many shadows out this way, but you'll kind of see them behind the trees and whatnot, which I think is a really neat addition. As well as the oceans and the water is probably one of my favorite parts. So despite the uh, the massive frame rate drop, <laughs> at least your oceans can look nice. Um, I'm going to actually quickly turn down the render distance to try and preserve some of my uh some of my sanity all right so as you can see as the map is loading in you can kind of see under the water and you got like the nice ripples as well as some pretty cool reflections and you might have noticed my shadow is actually a pretty decent shadow if i grab out a sword and hold it in my hand it'll kind of show up right there in the little shadow and this is the same for pretty much anything so if i grab a creeper real quick and plop it down here that creeper is going to have itself a shadow which is really kind of neat and um, just take him out. Die. Uh, I haven't actually seen this yet, but I'm, I want to see if items have a shadow, because that'd be like a really neat feature if they did. Yeah, they do, and it's even gunpowder shaped. That is really neat. Right. So next up on the list, uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like at night. And I, I think the, I think the um, night sky with this looks absolutely amazing. So you have the nice clouds, you have the beautiful stars, and you have the moon glowing off in the distance. Um, so I think it's really neat. And the world really does get dark at night. Uh, it kind of gives you a feel of like, kind of spookiness, I guess, kind of ominous. And as you can see, the water gets really dark as well. But luckily, if you have a torch, you can easily illuminate this and uh, make it a little bit better for you. To plant this down right here you can see in the dark and once again you can see the shadows which are uh, reflecting the torchlight okay so here we are in the nether um the fire it gives off a really nice glow looks really proper right there and of course like 
this will be the only light in the nether apart from the lava and maybe a little bit from the magma and the glowstone but as you can see the nether is a very harsh environment and as you expect it to be so i think the nether looks a ton better it looks a lot more realistic a lot more scary looking because you have these dark shadow areas now and you have like you can just kind of see how the um, only light areas are around the oceans of fire and like even looking from this area you can see how the pigment kind of like gets silhouetted against it if I come over to this area, you can see them more in color, and that's just because of the light, which is um, a really nice touch, I think. Once again, the shadowing is done really well in this. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff in the nether. I guess there's the end. The end of the end of Minecraft and the end of this video. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't know why you would, but still do anyways. This is my uh, quick little review on shaders. I really made this because I have little amount of time to make videos, and just thought that this would be a quick and easy one, especially because I just got shaders and thinks it looks kind of cool. So, in conclusion, if you want to sacrifice your frame rate, but have awesome Minecraft, get shaders. See ya in the next video. Like and subscribe. Yeah.